Well, we are here at the Western Film Fair and Nostalgia Convention with the very beautiful Tessa Richard. So nice to see you. Thank you. And of course, all of her fans are going to remember her from Dallas and a lot of other things, including Bronco Billy. But we just let's just dive right into Dallas. Everybody okay. wants to hear about that. Tell us about that. Well, actually, um, I was guest starring on Dallas and Larry Hagman directed me and he was wonderful. He was very, very nice, very funny and it was wonderful working with him and everyone on the set. Um, I have to say that Bronco Billy was one of my favorite films. Clint Eastwood directed me in that and um, it was the very first film I ever did um, in Los Angeles. What a coup. Very yeah. first film, and it's with Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood, yes. So do you have any little uh, stories you can share with us about Clint? He's actually really, really um, funny. He was joking around the set a lot, and he's a real gentleman. He's really a sweetheart. And I was very blessed to have been directed by him. And to work with him twice, I also did Any Which Way You Can. And um, that was also kind of a Western theme. Uh, we filmed it in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which is really beautiful. And um, he's just a really wonderful person. Now, I would guess with his disposition, just I don't know him, but I would think that he sets a very easy, comfortable tone on the set. Is that right? Yes, that's absolutely correct. He's very easygoing. Um, he's very, very down to earth. Um, and a lot of times he likes to bring in the same actors on uh, different films, um, especially in the early days, he would have the same actors. Um, uh, Jeffrey Lewis, Juliette Lewis's father, um, uh, Bill McKinney, a lot of different actors played in uh, several of his movies. I was very, very lucky to have worked with him. So. That's awesome. It's like having a repertory company where you kind of have your little team all worked out and you keep using the same people. Yes, and he felt, you know, comfortable that way. So I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Clint's. <laughs> so am I. I think so are all of our viewers. <laughs> yeah. So what other, what other things have we seen you in that you can share with us? Um, well, I've done a lot of different... Uh, I did a lot of television, guest starring on the different shows like, you know, Night Court and Three is Company and Cheers and Trapper John M.D. and just a lot of the different shows from the 80s and 90s. Um, but I have a film that plays on VH1 all the time. It's called The Last American Virgin. And it's one of those uh, teenage movies, that kind of genre. And it's very funny. And it became a cult movie. And so now I have all these young people that are uh, writing me fan letters. And it's really, really funny. Um, and they came, they came to me at a, um, another autograph signing show. And I couldn't believe all these kids were in line wanting my autograph. I'm like, how do you know me? And they were like, we see you on VH1. They play that movie all the time. So that has become a cult movie. How so, fun. Yeah. Don't you love the power of film? Because yeah, film is forever. It, it's really true. And um, I was always embarrassed of that film because it was a scene that's a little risque. But today, it's not risque like things are today. And the kids just love it. And it's actually a very funny film. And it's a very heartwarming film as well. Yeah, so. so what is in the works for you? What's up next for Tessa Richard? Well, right now I'm living in North Carolina with my daughter and I'm taking a break right now to raise her. She's still in school, but when she graduates, I want to go back to Los Angeles or New York, uh, back into the film industry and hopefully do a soap or commercials or a film or, or something. Um, but right now I'm focusing on my daughter. Well, that's a very good choice. I applaud you because you're a great mom for doing that. And you know, nowadays the film industry is not just in New York or LA. There's so much happening here in the South. Yes, um, there's a movie studio in Wilmington, and um, that's on the uh, more of the shoreline of North Carolina, and they're doing a lot of production right now. So, you know, I'm going to look into that as well and maybe be able to do some, you know, something here in North Carolina as well. So it's a beautiful and Atlanta. Atlanta's and Atlanta. become the Hollywood of the South. It really has. They're doing a lot of production in the South. So my, my daughter's a little Southern girl, so she, <laughs> she loves it here. But my heart is in Los Angeles, and I miss everybody there. And um, I think eventually I will go back. But right now I do love it here. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you and for doing such a good job as a mother. And I know your California friends and fans will be looking forward to seeing you back there again. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us, Thank Tessa. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.